what's up family yo this mercury retrograde is something else i just realized it was mercury retrograde when i heard somebody say it the other day computer fully charged and it cut off no way i have a virus or anything because I, I i don't do anything on this computer but anyway all the cars are out here um over arcing energy is spirit intervention spirit says i got your back i am here for you first card out we have fake friends and family the first row is fake friends and family and the veil being lifted spirit says people who have these outdated beliefs who are stuck in conditioning they are being relieved uh revealed because of your bravery bravery to stand your ground you have put in the work and you didn't give up and spirit says your victory is here since you're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting off because of fear which is understandable but you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision and you will feel so much lighter when you do and i feel like there's people around you that has the strength now to release these people as they you know didn't before and that is because the veil has been lifted and the secrets that has been revealed those hidden negativities um those hidden attacks that people put onto you and then when you uh complain about it and speak out speak out about it they victimize you that you've been and you've been experiencing experiencing this for the longest all of that can now be fully and will or will be fully released because again people are seeing through the facade that has fooled many for so long and had them going against you but it's it's time with this time card it's time for that to come forth and now you're about to be um, given many options the key on the ring card also says uh, unconventional and I feel like the veil has been lifted off as well your chosen path even though your chosen path may not be uh, the same as what your family instilled in you people are are now seeing that at the core it's you're still the same and you are still of the same energy it's just you know you believe differently so I feel like people are now going to be able to release that judgment. I feel like a lot of good is going to be coming in for you. And spirit wants you to be in the energy of flow. It may be an emotional overload, which is why the seahorse is here. Because the seahorse is the steed of the gods and the goddesses that prevents sailors from drowning or becoming lost at sea. Drowning or becoming lost in their emotions because water represents emotion. So there's going to be a lot of emotions, maybe a lot of happiness, but Spirit wants you to make sure you, re you remain uh, in, in the energy of flow because it can be unsteady, but we also have connect here. Um, that the Seahorse card is also connected to openness. Spirit wants you to be open so that you can connect to, uh, to people because now you're in the energy to draw in your twin flame before you were in a state of maybe forced and chosen um solitude it wasn't um isolation and it could have been isolation as well the the, the fake family and friends may have gotten into the ear of a, of a lot of different people and they isolated you if not physically in an emotional way in a mental way the way they thought about you was in an isolated way maybe because of your beliefs and such but now they're seeing the truth of who you really are um, the picture the seeing the truth about the picture that someone tried to paint about you and they are over and they are uh, gaining their strength as well the seahorse card is also about protection it helps you to outmaneuver negative forces and bring grace and peace into your life and peace was the bottom of the deck card in the other reading as as a guardian when going through challenging times especially on the on an emotional level so i feel like the seahorse energy is not only comforting you but the people around you and so now that you can fully trust you can fully release you know and be vulnerable be open speak up you know you feel safe in speaking your truth because the truth is being revealed 
and people aren't fighting against the truth anymore okay so that allows you this energy and this healing is going to allow you to be able to connect to others and then we have inner child triggered clarified by twin flames and a line spirit says i know you i know you want your twin flame but in the in the previous in the past you weren't fully healed there were still areas that was hidden from you that needed to be healed that's why if you went through a situation where you feel you got god or you didn't li listen to your intuition know that everything that we go through has value okay and that there will be truth this is the bottom of the deck card um and underneath that is illumination there will be truth revealed and that truth is you hadn't fully taken accountability and done the things that needed to be done okay so the spirit intervention helped you to take accountability but um by saying okay i released the resentment i released the pain and helped to release you from it to the point where you weren't trying to retaliate because that's all all you did was bring karma onto yourself and kept yourself within that cycle um i also was saying a prayer or this line over and over it says i ask for strength and guidance ask for strength and guidance it was in the ancestral prayer that I was playing yesterday I believe I, I was playing it yesterday I asked for strength and guidance to I wrote it down in my phone but I think my phone may be in the car for strength and guidance to break the cycle which stifles my spirituality something like that so that really hits home spirit, spirit intervention because it's like they're saying I heard you and we are going to do that. We are stepping in. You know. I got. I asked for guidance to overcome the cycle. Of negativity. That stifles my spirituality. I believe that's what it is. I pray and I ask for. Guidance to overcome the cycle, to break the cycle of negativity that stifles my spirituality, you know. Um, and you needed that because you don't wanna call in a twin flame, this is, this is the twin flame card. You don't wanna call in a twin flame when there's still areas that need to be healed because what you're gonna do is call in a mirror and you don't need someone with the same issues as you as it will possibly perpetuate it and keep you in the cycle even longer, okay? It's the situations have to happen, this chaos had to happen to trigger your inner child so that you can see what you need to change and to fully and to be able to align more efficiently, right? Because the align card says you're being asked to align with your current situation, even if it's not easy to do so. And it may not have been easy to, to do that work to dive deeper so that you can see where you were held accountable. And it could have been simply being allowing people space in your mind but with spirit intervention it helped us to to say i'm ready to release the pain the resentment i'm ready to not even entertain the conversation of people that i dislike i'm not going to talk bad about the people that i that have done me wrong um i don't even want to entertain gossip about people who have done me wrong because that's feeding that devil versus feeding the angel on your shoulder it's about making a choice to feed the angel because everything you have a choice in everything right 
So you're becoming balanced in your inner child and you are aligning with it to help your inner child heal even the more. Unfortunately, these people are not. Their inner child is going to be triggered by your bravery, by your strength. It has been already, but it's con going to continue to be that way. You know, and they may still throw little obstacles that may make you unsteady. But as long as you connect to seahorse, you know, that protection energy to outmaneuver negative forces, as long as you connect to your higher self, connect to nature, you'll be able to transmute it just like the alchemist that you are, the light bearer that you are to be able to overcome and get back to a place of peace and comfort without any regrets in your heart. And then we have humbled here, okay? So your bravery, your strength is going to humble these people because again, the veil is being lifted and secrets are being revealed. So these people are being humbled. They are being called out on their ish. They're being seen for who they truly are and who they've hidden for other from a lot of people but didn't hide from you. You were the object of their attacks. But now the truth is being unveiled. So we have clarifying humbled as mentor and comfort. You are leading by example. You had to go through this so that you can learn the lesson so that you will be able to teach this to others with the mentor card remember the last reading ended on leadership you are becoming the leader that you never had you know so it doesn't matter what these people try to say about you or whatever it's not going to work your work and your teachings inspire others your story will inspire others and bring comfort to others okay so Make sure you do some things to bring, make sure you do things to bring more comfort into your life during this time of maybe people um, throwing adult temper tantrums because their inner child is triggered and they refuse to do the work they rather project. All of that is being illuminated to you because the veil is being lifted. You're being able to see it. But also, you're with, with having being able to see it, you can understand it more. Know it's not you and also strategize in the best way to move forward for the good of all. I feel like, well, I'm not, I feel like every light bearer does what is good for all, not just themselves, but you're dealing with some either selfish friends or family, fake friends and family, but know that that is being revealed or it has been revealed but also the places within you that needed more work, the places in you that was holding that resentment, holding the pain, you know, um, wanting to jump at any chance to talk bad about a certain person and discuss it. It's like, no, that's, it's ta it takes too much of your energy and it's not worth it. It's simply not worth pondering over because that person is in the, in the cycle. They're on, a, on the hamster wheel running with all their might, but going nowhere. So Spirit says, bring, uh, find things that bring comfort to you. Uh, it can be tangible like soft clothes or food or intangible like thinking loving thoughts about yourself and inviting peace into your heart. Okay, clarifying the best is yet to come, honey. We have uh, potential, you being open to see how you are accountable for accountable for certain for the things certain situations because remember we everything that we experience we called in our life some way shape form or fashion it may not have been consciously it could have been subconsciously but that's because spirit saw that that is something that you needed to work on and the only way that you are going to be able to truly see it is through rejection you know that's why you know there's no better saying in this situation or within what I was just saying is rejection is God's protection okay those people rejecting you was God's protection now you come into the place where you reject other people is God's protection as well let's clarify abundance and marketing in reverse so again all these people um, that are fighting against you spiritually attacking you 
their words have no power against you anymore and a prosperity is coming into your life because remember we're switching out abundance with prosperity because abundance you can have an abundance of sadness but prosperous always means a good thing it says you're being asked to open remember we had openness that's the only way abundance can flow is when that heart chakra is cleansed and I did see heart chakra um, on in the handwritten deck so I'm going to make sure we do some heart chakra uh, cleansing tones before we exit out of this read and I also saw the root chakra so we're going to work with that as well but in order for money to flow your heart has to be in the right space you know in order for money to flow in a healthy way but you have to be you're being asked to open to prosperity to believe that you're deserving it of it just like the previous reading says you deserve to be cared for you deserve to be loved you deserve to be protected wanted all of those things and I feel like you have done you're you're doing the clearing work have done the clearing work and now you're being a you're you are truly in a position to call forth your twin flame because now you are healed enough for relationship before your heart wasn't healed enough to for spirit to bring you your relation a relationship but also cl clarifying the best is yet to come we have protection and delight so there's a lot of delight and happiness coming remember i was saying there's so much good is so much good is about to come in it may feel scary you may feel unsteady the spirit said just remember to connect with your core connect with nature ground your energy and just flow in this time in this period of prosperity because you are attracting it remember and then we have love is looking for you exactly you are attracting um, your true twin flame it's clarified by objective and lighten up spirit says keep your eye on the objective and stay light don't carry other people's burdens don't allow these people that are throwing adult temper tantrums to get under your skin to uh, make you even talk about them with the objective it says right writing down your goals will help you in achieving them keep and to keep yourself on track to reaching your dreams one step at a time so it says stay focused on the objective okay love is looking for you now you are open now you are aligned enough so that love can come to you that you can draw love in transformation is the next card there is major endings and new beginnings uh, clarifying powers evolved the transformation card you are transforming into uh, that the person you've always wanted to be you know and that is clarified look at that beautiful manifest and in reverse karmic relationships yes you have evolved your powers are have evolved and you have in, evolved past those karmic relationships that's why the best is yet to come that's why you are being called to be a leader or mentor to others to inspire others that is why that delight energy is here that's why spirit says open up right because you manifest with your thoughts and you're being asked to manifest consciously through positive thinking so you will attract into your life exactly what you're wanting okay and again like I said spirit may have brought that chaos because subconsciously you there were places that still needed to be healed but now that the veil has been lifted you can see those space those places those spaces that need to be healed and maybe you've done it already or you're, you are doing it now or will do it but that is why your twin flame is coming in that is why you have overcome the karmic relationships you've healed that that inner child you know you've healed that childhood trauma spirit wants you to know and to remind you you know so stay positive Know that you're always manifesting. That's why it's so important to 
release the pain, resentment, to not gossip and to spend your precious, precious breath speaking about things and talking about things that no longer serve you. Okay. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have jump in. It's time for you to take that leap of faith. It's rarely that everything aligns perfectly, but you're ready because you've made the necessary adjustments, which is on the bottom of the deck as well. Okay, so it says don't do too much today. Just kind of relax. Um, the uh, not uh, I say that because we have not today. But this not today card says boundaries and hurt, avoiding conversation, not dealing, still upset. Um, you made adjustment to that energy. Okay. You're not avoiding it. You faced it. You said, okay, I understand, you know, why I feel this way. You did the work, but you made the necessary adjustments to understand why you felt the way you were feeling so that you can heal it. That's why you're ready to jump in. You you know perhaps you jumped into that energy the energy of truly understanding why you were hurt or why you allowed yourself to be hurt when it's not your burden to carry and also i don't know if i showed you but we have whole body breathing at the bottom of the deck of the handwritten cards underneath that is to take nine deep breaths so when you do the whole body breathing you know imagine your skin vibrating we'll imagine your skin breathing and even the skin on your toes imagine and do that for nine deep breaths i don't know if i said this aloud or not but i do i did see the throat i mean not the throat but the heart and root chakra Heart. So we're going to do some tune and fork cleansing and healing with that once we're done with the read, which we, we are pretty much. We've uh, turned over all of the cards here. Let's get cleared. Let's get some cards on the fake family and friends. We've got the sun card. It's being fucking illuminated just like, you know, the other card says it's being illuminated. And we have the four swords. Spirit wants you to go into the energy of meditation to know that just like yesterday uh, the card came out you are more than ready for battle be bold and confident and the four of swords represents as you can see this warrior here he still has his armor on and he's asleep you know in the traditional tarot he's laying in the coffin that they built for him because he went to war preparing for his death but since he came back alive he decided to lay within the coffin and to give thanks and to give honor that this is not where i truly am i am alive i can get up out of this coffin if i want to and so it's just the state of gratefulness of meditation as well on all the good and then we have the six of pentacles here uh spirit says the fake family and friends are being revealed and with that, now you can see and call in the reciprocity, okay? And then we have the justice in reverse. These people are going to be facing judgment. That's going to be their reciprocity. That's going to be their reward for what they have sown for not giving you the reciprocity energy of love. And then we have Page of Pentacles, which is the card of opportunity of learning, okay? These people are receiving justice because they did not learn the lesson. <laughs> Look at that strength card with the fake family and friends on top of the fake family and friends. The strength, your power is revealing, is revealing them to the, to you, and to the world. They can no longer neglect them and, and manipulate you. And remember the, the bravery card was out there as well. Look at that beautiful ten of cups the card of building a generational legacy and breaking generational curses and perhaps you're gen one of the generation generational curses that you are breaking is that of toxic relationships and when you break in that cycle you are being able to heal your heart and remember when your heart is healed 
your money mentality can be healed and money can flow into your life uh, more seamlessly. So let's do some root chakra work. Trying to put this near the mic. I'm not really sure where it, where it is, but I know it's. I have it on to help us ground ourselves, to connect with Mother Earth, because we are alchemists. So we are sending out any negative energies so that Mother Earth can ground them, can transmute them. And let's also work with the heart chakra to cleanse it. With the seahorse and spirit intervention, spirit it says, remember, I got your back. Also remember to do the whole body breathing, skin breathing for nine deep breaths. Get out into nature, you know, any drama, you saying not today, I'm not, I'm not entertaining it. I'm not about to entertain you in the bullshit. Look, and then we have communicate at the bottom of, uh, not at the bottom, but communicate after the not today card. Spirit says, don't entertain that. There's nothing to communicate about. There's nothing to talk about. Spirit says, focus on you being, being the energy of meditation because truth and illumination, the truth is being eliminated. Illumin illuminated. The truth is being illuminated. So don't allow anyone to distract you during this beautiful energy of the 8-8 portal. Okay, keep your mind stayed on the things that you want to call in and to bring in. Because you are very, there's a magnetic at this time. So make sure your thoughts are positive so that you can attract exactly what you want and what you need. All right, family, I hope they helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I love you all, and until next time. But before I go, I don't know if I told you that the energy that I was feeling before I started to read the first time is the energy of freedom, of liberation, of lightness. It was just such a beautiful feeling that I just had to go into praise in the song. Uh, that I want you guys to listen to is Shackles by Mary Mary. The universe source, they, your ancestors, they took the shackles off my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise you. I just want to thank you. You broke the chains, now I can lift my hands. And I'm going to praise you. I'm going to thank you. In the corners of my mind I just can't seem to find The reason to believe That I can break free You didn't feel like you could break free You see, I, I've been down for so long I thought all hope was gone But as I lift my hands I understand that I should Praise him through my circumstance. And that's what you do. You, that's what you did. You praise him through the circumstance. Even though you went through the wrong, you said, okay, I'm going to release the resentment. And now, spirit, it's time for you to show up and show out. I did my part. Now it's time for you to show up and show out. And with the spirit intervention, spirit says, you ain't said nothing but a word, baby. We've been waiting on you to do the things. To take accountability, to change your mindset into a miracle mindset and a miracle mentality. And now we, we we in that thing. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? So again, I'm going to end it right there. Love you all. And until next time. Peace. <laughs>